Did you know you can create a mobile app page for all of your mobile users so they have everything they usually get on the home page or everything they need to be successful right when they open their mobile app? That's right. With Lightning App Builder, you can create a mobile app page to put tons of great components on the page and help your users be successful. And also, I'm going to show you a really cool trick that we do here at Salesforce to create a custom Lightning app that gives your users a ton of flexibility for how they customize their own experience. So let's take a look. So we're back in our winter 20 sunshine chocolates environment. And I always like to start in the Salesforce mobile app quick start in setup because this gives me a great place to reference all the resources, videos, and the checklist for customizing my mobile experience. Now, we've already created some mobile specific record pages and customized record pages for mobile, but we wanna create sort of a mobile homepage. We wanna create an app page in Lightning App Builder for our mobile users right when they log in. So I go into new lightning page. I'm going to select the app page option. This means that it's not tied to a specific record and it's not the home page. So we'll call this Sunshine Central. And then we get to pick our layout. Now, since we're optimizing this for mobile, we're just gonna select the first one because it'll be a column layout for mobile. I'm previewing this in the canvas in mobile and I'm gonna drag over some components that I think will be useful for my users in mobile on their home page. So first I'm gonna bring over a report chart component and I have a report that's created for my top deals. I don't need to add a filter because the report is already filtering based on the user that's viewing it. Let's also bring over some tools so our users can get all their tasks and events. So we're gonna bring over a list view and I can select the events object for this list view and I have a list view option called today's agenda. So that seems like it'll be really helpful for the homepage so we'll add that as well. Let's also bring over a task list. Again, these are all of the things that our users will see right when they log into mobile. So I wanna give them the things that maybe they would have been clicking on a lot in their homepage or things that are very useful for them. So I'll make this list a task list and let's just look at all open tasks. You can bring over any of these components to your homepage or custom components from the app exchange. So let's also bring over a recent items standard component as well. I just wanna make it really easy for my users to get back into maybe opportunities or projects, records that they've been dealing with. Again, this is something that I know my users use quite a bit with the utility bar and other apps or on the homepage. So I wanna make this really available to them on their mobile experience and help drive mobile adoption. So I'm bringing over the objects to add to this uh, recent items standard component, great. Now, because this is an app page, I also have the option to customize the actions available for this page. So if I click on the page on the top right, I can see all the page properties, like the label, the page type, the template, and I can see a button to add actions. So let's go ahead and bring over some of the popular actions that my users use, like log a call, new case, new events, just to make this sort of a one-stop shop when they first log in. And let's do new task as well. I feel good about my new app page, so I'm gonna go ahead and save it. When I save it, because it's a new page, I automatically get the option to activate this page as well. So we're gonna click into activate. I can see the name for the app page. I can select my icon. Let's select this nice sunshine icon. And I can select where I want to activate this page. So in Lightning Experience, we could add this to the app experience or we can add it to the mobile navigation. So first I'm going to add it to mobile navigation. I want this to be available for all of my mobile users and I'm gonna drag it up to the top so it's available right when they log into mobile. But we're gonna add it someplace else as well. So we save this page, we've activated it, let's click back and let's go into our app manager because what I wanna do is create an app for my users to fully customize their mobile experience. This is something that we do at Salesforce with a My Lightning app, and it gives users the power to make a really custom, personalized experience. So I'm gonna call this My Sunshine app, and I'm gonna enter a description so my users know how to use it as well. And this is not something you have to do in order to roll out a mobile app page. This is an optional step. However, this can be a great way to help drive your user's adoption of mobile or of Lightning for that matter if they are personalizing their tabs a lot or if you don't want them to personalize tabs on another app and you wanna give them this app to personalize their tabs on. So I'm gonna add some coaching here. This is an app that you can personalize your tabs on, um, personalize on desktop and then use it on mobile. Great, so let's go ahead and click next. So we do want this to be available for desktop and phone because users are going to be customizing this or personalizing this on their desktop and then using it on phone. 
So let's go ahead and click next. Great. We're not going to add any utility items because that's not something that they're using on mobile, but we will add some navigation items. So first I'm going to add that sort of new mobile homepage, Sunshine, Sunshine Central. So I'm going to bring that over and I'm also going to add just a couple other tabs. Again, this app is going to be sort of like a blank slate app. Um, so I'll add some basics like chatter and we're using groups a lot. So we'll add groups as well, but I'm going to keep it really, really lightweight because this is going to be the app that our users can use to customize or personalize their own experience. Now that I've added the tabs, I can make it available for profiles for right now. I'm just going to add it for system administrator, but you would add this for all the profiles you want to access this app in mobile. Awesome. So I've got my brand new lightning app. Let's take a look at how we can personalize this and then view it in mobile. So now in the app launcher, I've got my sunshine app with the coaching there on the description. And I come first to this lightning app page and on the navigation bar, I've got sunshine Ch central chatter and groups. However, I'm going to open up some other specific tabs and list views that I want to add to my mobile experience as a user. So I'm opening up projects. Let's go into one of my favorite projects lists. And as an end user, I can personalize my navigation to say, okay, I want to add this list view to my nav bar. Awesome. Now I can go through and do this for a few more list views or maybe specific chatter groups that I access a lot. This is something that I do with my mobile experience as a Salesforce employee to have a really personalized mobile uh, experience when I log in and quickly navigate to all of my favorite groups, records, and list views. So, the ability for end users to personalize their nav is one of my favorite lightning features. Um, and it's something that I use quite a bit and that I encourage customers to use quite a bit because it's a great way to really help users create their own space so they can be productive. Now I'm going, I've added all my tabs. I'm going to go into editing my navigation. So I can not only add new tabs, but I can also change the order of those tabs. I can name them a specific way and I can, uh, really customize this and personalize this. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean up these names a little bit here. Awesome. And now I'm starting to have this navigation for my, my sunshine app. That's going to reflect exactly what I want to see when I log in. Um, and this is an app, this idea of having kind of a blank slate, my app. Um, this is something that you could have your users be using on desktop or on mobile, but it's a great space, both if you want to give them those options to personalize or if you want to limit personalization options on your other apps. So let's take a look at this app in action. So when I open up my Salesforce mobile app, I was already in the Sunshine Chocolates app. So I'm defaulting to that second tab after home, which was events or the calendar tab. But when I use the mobile app launcher and I switch to the My Sunshine app, now I've got my new customized app and the first tab that I land on will be the Sunshine Central app page that we built with Lightning App Builder. That page that has our charts, our open agenda items, our tasks, and all of those actions that we added as well, like adding a new task. Now, because I also added this app page to the mobile navigation, it would be available for our users that are in mobile for the app launcher option as well. So that's how you can create that mobile homepage experience for your users on custom apps or on their mobile navigation. So I'm so excited to see all of the mobile app pages that you all build for your users and also those custom personalized lightning apps that you roll out to your users so they can really fine tune their experience on mobile. Thanks for joining us. We've got five videos from this week's mobile week video series. So you can find them all at this trail mix as well as all of the trailhead modules that you can go and earn badges on and get really up to speed on everything you can build with lightning app builder and how to customize your mobile experience for your users. Again, thanks for joining and I will see you next time.